guys, this is Monica with the Roma Plans and today I'm in my budget planner checking in on the first week of March and also closing out the second paycheck of February and seeing how we did for that paycheck. I am using an Erin Condren monthly planner. I did want to just mention if you are interested in this planner or any planner by Erin Condren, definitely check out their website. I have it linked down below if you've never ordered from them, you can save $10 as well. And they, their dated planners for 2021 are 40% off right now. So if you haven't picked this up and you're interested in it, definitely check them out. It's a great time to get one. With the week one check-in with March, we are actually starting this in February because we do our check-ins from Friday to Thursday. So our week one of check-in of March actually starts in February 26th and goes all the way to March 4th. I do need to go ahead and put some transactions down and I keep everything back in the back folder of my planner. So I have all of the March stuff I'm just gonna put aside. And then I have expense trackers. So, and all of the stickers that you see are stickers that you can find in my printable Etsy shop. I'll also have that link down below if you wanna check it out. All of them are there. I have all of the colors of the expense trackers, but some of these are ones that I printed off last year when I originally started using these. So that's why they look a little bit different, the sticker sheets do. So starting off here on the 27th, we did get some groceries and that ended up being $80.39, which is well under our budget. So we were really happy about that. We did, y'all, we are over and eating out. And I'm just at the point where it is what it is for this pay period and just moving forward. <laughs> so um, my husband took my daughter to cook out. So we have this here. We um, did get some stuff from DoorDash Saturday night as well. So we have that. And then also our Netflix bill came out. That is $14.97. We've had Netflix for so long that I think we were grandfathered in on a lower rate. And so so even with like the price increase, I think we pay less than some people. I think it's just because we've had it for years and years. And then the last thing that we have for February is we did make our car payment and that was $298.55. So that's all of the transactions for February. And then looking at March, I'm actually doing something a little bit different with my transactions on this page. I'm really excited about it, but I am using this sheet. It comes in my budget add-on listing. Um, it's one of the sheets and I never use it, but I am using it and I'm gonna see how I like it in March. Um, I originally did not use it because I have way more than three um, colors that I use, but I think I've found a way to make it work. I'm gonna put the bills down in the bill due stickers this color is going to be gas this is going to be groceries and this is going to be eating out and then i'm going to put my income my sinking funds and my miscellaneous transactions on the sidebar so we'll see how this works it may not work at all but i kind of like the idea if it can work 
that it's super color coordinated and it matches the kit and it just it's a cohesive look so but we'll see <laughs> so one thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to go ahead in this 28th spot i'm going to just write eating out gas and then grocery and that'll be my key and that way I know because I don't want to redo my key for um, that I use now because if this doesn't work I'll be going back to the old way and so I don't want to just have to I don't want to redo it for it to go back so I want to just wait and plus it'll change every month too all right so we have eating out gas and groceries so the first transaction that we had was for gas and we went to QT. If you've been watching me for a while, you are probably not surprised that that is where we got gas. It's where we always get gas. <laughs> and that was on the second. And that was for $31.71. We, um, that was our only transaction. And then right here, I'm just going to put income. And I'm going to put 35M and 35V. And then I'm going to put 319M, 319V and then put Etsy. And so that way I can write down what all of our income is and then we can do sinking funds. Here. And then I can write down what the sinking fund transfers are as well. So that is all of the transactions that we have for this weekly check-in. So this one's a little bit weird because it is going over some of February and some of March. And it looks like I did not draw my lines in here. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so then our categories are eating out, gas, grocery, and unbudgeted. So for eating out, we had 326 plus 25, 47 and that was it so so we had 2873 so the remaining that we had we had eight dollars and one cents remaining so we are over budget. So we are over budget 2072. So and then remaining per week is nothing because this is the end of the pay period. So for gas, we had 65 at 21 left. So for gas, we just had the 3171. So we were actually under budget by 33.50. And then for grocery, we had $80.39.
And for grocery, we had 111.36. So when we take 80.39 out of that, we were actually over, we were actually under budget by 30.97. And then we didn't have anything for unbudgeted and I don't think we spent anything. I don't think we've spent anything for unbudgeted. No, which is awesome. So that is what we have. So in looking at the paycheck two, so we can see how we did for the month. So with eating out, we budgeted 150 and we were over budget by 2072. So we spent 170.72, and which made us over budget 2072. Extra debt, we did pay 200. And then for the gas for the car, we budgeted 125. And we spent ninety one fifty, and so we were under budget by thirty three fifty. Giving we don't share what we do for giving for groceries. We budget we budget two hundred dollars, which equates to a hundred dollars a week, and so we spent one sixty nine oh three, and that left us with thirty dollars and ninety seven cents that we were under budget. And then sinking funds, we did the 247. So no difference there. And then we didn't have anything for unbudgeted. And all of these numbers were the same as well. So in looking at this, we did pretty good. We were over budget with eating out, but we honestly were looking at our budget and seeing, okay, we knew we were going to be under budget for gas and we knew we were going to be under budget for groceries to cover that and so we just kind of made the decision that we were going to still do that we were going to go over budget and we were going to be fine with it and that's just how it was going to be <laughs> and sometimes we do that and then sometimes we're like no we cannot depending on looking at our budget and things that we want to get done so overall i'm pretty pleased with how this paycheck went um, we did have some extra money to go ahead and put towards debt. Um, we do have some extra money that we're going to be able to put towards debt for a little bit. So that's going to be awesome. So we love, you know, just that time of closing out our paycheck and putting that extra money towards goals with also keeping a buffer in our checking account. We do keep a little bit of a buffer in our checking account. And then what I do is that payment I actually just put down here and then um, so it's notated I can see okay this is what the balance was and this is what we did with the rest of it so that is how my week one of March slash paycheck two of February came out I'm really pleased with it even with being over budget and eating out because um, sometimes it happens and you just have to and that's what one good thing about the weekly check-ins is knowing, okay, this is how much we have left going into the last week of the month. And this is how much we have in all these categories. And if something comes up, making that decision, but knowing, yes, we're going to be over budget in a category, but we are under budget in these other categories that's going to cancel that out. So it'll be fine. Sometimes things happen and you just end up eating out an extra time or you, it's really nice outside and you take your daughter to get ice cream a couple of times. So it's just like different things come up. So that's one of the reasons I love the weekly check-ins to make sure what we're doing is in line with our goals. So I hope you liked this video. Let me know down below how your February ended and go ahead and hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm.